All right, friends, lose the bows. We're talking about pizzicato today. Now they talk about pizzicato a lot in the cello section, I do believe, but we don't talk about it enough in the violin section. So today is your chance. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that when you pluck the string sideways, you create a corner on the string. This is called the Helmholtz corner and it zooms around the string at whatever frequency the string is. So 440 on the A string, 660 on the E string, you get the idea. Here's a graph of what's happening. Take a look at this. So you can see the corner is zooming around the string in a horizontal plane. So when you pluck, make sure that you're using your energy efficiently and you're plucking in whatever horizontal plane the string is. Keep in mind that's very different from the G string to the E string. The next thing to remember is that the loudness of a pizzicato is directly related to the amplitude or the sideways motion of the string. In other words, how far that string is moving to the side. So if you want to create a lot of amplitude, you want to move your string very far to the side and put in lots of energy. You get the idea. And then another thing to consider is from our previous video on overtones, uh, where you pluck the string matters a great deal because it's going to excite different colors, different overtones. So if I pluck here, it's going to be very different than if I pluck here. And you can hear the difference between those two sounds. The portion of your finger that you pluck the string with, or how soft of the pad you use, you're going to get a different sound, and that's because the corner you create is different. Remember that the corner is going to be directly related to the overtone content. So if it's a very sharp corner, you're gonna have a lot of high overtones. If it's a more rounded corner, you're gonna have a lot of lower overtones. So if I use my very padded middle finger, you can hear I get a very soft sound. Whereas my first finger has a little bit more of a callus. And you can hear that that's a little bit uh, brighter sound, more overtones. The final thing to consider is that when you're uh, plucking pizzicato chords, you can use different locations to voice the chord in such a way that you can hear all the pitches in the right, uh, the volume that you want to hear them in. So something like this, something like that. Or if you notice the top pitches are going to be heard anyway because they have a much higher decibel level. So you always wanna focus on the lowest pitches of the chord. And this is also because those lowest pitches have a greater oscillating energy. And they're going to keep the sound ringing much longer and help the upper strings to ring as well. So if you put in your energy on the bottom notes, when you get to the top notes, they'll ring too. Just like that. Remember that constant motion negates tension in the bow arm or the pizzicato arm in this case, and you will have everything you need to get started.